Hi, this is Brian Miller from Monocat. Uh, we broke a pole off, uh, got snagged, couldn't get unhooked, uh, so we broke it off. So we're going to go through a, a setup here. Um, we're anchored up, so this setup is going to be what we do when we're anchored solid and not moving. Uh, I use a 100-pound braided line. I'm, I'm threading it up here through the, the eyes. Every once in a while, even if you don't break off, you should really do a good job of inspecting your line, all of your knots, make sure everything's good. We're after big fish, you know. That big fish is going to test every component, every knot that's on the on the pole. So always make sure that everything is ready for that once-in-a-lifetime fish. Since I was snagged up, I want to make sure that everything's okay. So. Do a visual, feel the line, make sure everything is okay. Oh, right there. Right there is a, a rough spot in that braid. So we want to at least cut back to there so that we don't have a, a weak spot in our line. Okay, so I got rid of that. We're going to be fishing in some heavier current today, long dikes and some holes. So I'm going to put a, a bigger weight on. I'm going to put a number... Five. I like the teardrop. The teardrops will not roll as easy. That's why they call them non-roll. Non-roll teardrop style. It's a five ouncer. You put a swivel on. I use a number five swivel. I use a polymer knot. A polymer knot will not come loose when you're using braided line. Polymer knots are very simple. It's one of the knots you can do in the dark. You don't have to wet the line, braided line is, you really don't have to, to wet it. You got a polymer knot there to hold. I usually put a, a little uh, ball right there to kind of protect the knot. I did forget that, but I guess we'll do that on the next video. I use a leader that is a 50 pound, 50 pound. I use a big game. I use the improved cinch knot, but I double it. I go around twice. Gives you two, two rungs to hold and protect. Then you just wrap it about six times. The monofilament, I do wet. Give it a little slima. Pull it solid. As you're pulling it down, you're making sure that it doesn't fall over on itself. Where you have the two lines that are going underneath us around the swivel, you don't want one of them crossing over one another. That'll be a weak spot. Pull down tight. Your saliva lubricated it really good. Always keep my fingernail clippers handy so I can trim off the edges. Um, the big game leader is 50 pounds. The 50 pound is obviously lighter than the 100 pound line that I use. As if you get snagged and you want to get out of it, you have the ability to break the leader and not your braided line. I snail my hooks. Snell is also a pretty easy knot. You want to go through that direction. That way when it pulls, it'll always pull this way and set the hook, help set the hook for you. Give it some. The 
Give it a little lubrication. Pull on both ends at the same time. I actually use my pliers. Give a nice snell hook. Never set up, ready to go now. We'll get him the bait on and get him out in the water. So there's our rig for setting up when you're anchored up and not moving. Just like that. This is Brian Miller saying have a good day in the water.